All right, very exciting day in the tech world. It is a big release day or launch day, announcement day. Everybody's talking about the new Samsung device, the Galaxy S10 in front of me right now. I have the S10 Plus with the hole punch, the double hole punch. People talked about it, it was leaked. The rumors showcased it and now it's real. It's in front of us and this is our first look at it. So here it is. A gigantic display of course this is the plus version and the first thing the first thing you notice is how that hole punch kind of vanishes into the background of the default wallpaper now I was like hey but people want to see the scale of the hole punch so I was like let me go into the wallpaper settings here they blacked it out in every single wallpaper but anyway this gives us a better idea of the hole punch set up when we're just inside of the UI and you know I don't know it kind of fits into the to the top notification bar it's the exact same height which I don't mind and of course not having it in the center kind of moves it to a more a, a less utilized area of your screen real estate so this is kind of going to be up to the individual in terms of how you compare this to a notch kind of scenario but i guess at first glance aesthetically speaking you're used to having some noise up in the top corner because this is typically where this stuff lives you know your signal battery life and so on so it, it does blend a little bit better than the center notch form factor wise it's similar in scale to the current plus series the s9 plus though the back camera also received some upgrades as you can see right here we've got three camera units that means this device has five cameras the s10 plus is a five camera smartphone that's pretty wild so that's a 6.4 inch amoled display now i've said in the past uh, i'm generally a fan of the, you know the Samsung displays on smartphones they make so many of them and they've got these vibrant colors lots of contrast very pleasing to a wide audience uh, this is no exception at first glance this looks really nice I don't know if it's much brighter than the previous version I've got it maxed out here for the purpose of this video but it looks good I think you're gonna be satisfied with it so let's go ahead and launch these cameras okay so this is the front facing unit and it also has a wide angle now it's not the widest maybe kirk can pick this up real quick so this is the wide and that's the close nowhere near the field of view that the pixel gives you for example this one on the other hand it gives you a quick bounce out slightly you know you have the ability to probably fit two people in the frame one there one there but then on the typical focal range, that's what you're looking at. All right, let's do the selfie test real quick. What do we have? Should we just do a max beauty just for the, all right, max beauty, here we go. We got lips. What do we do to the nose? We shrink it or we make it bigger? Oh. That is freaky. Okay, this is on the big side. Are you seeing this, Kirk? Yeah. In real time? Yeah, do it again. Okay, that's big. We're shrinking it. Eyes, what do we do, make those bigger? Okay, the chin, what, what would people want to do? Shrink that? The jawline. Oh, we're sucking in the jawline, folks. And the skin tone. Okay, here we go. This is max, max beauty. I'm gonna try to look as pretty as possible here. This is not me, ladies and gentlemen, that's not me. That's pretty, that's pretty me. And you know, they've done a compelling version of it here. It doesn't look cartoony. It just, it looks like plastic surgery. Like that's what it's starting to look like. Actual plastic surgery that you don't have to do. For the price of a new smartphone, you get the old tuck, the old stitch and tuck. What, what? It... I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know. It's not the best selfie I've ever seen. If I'm being honest. Now, when, when it comes to some of the post-processing stuff, that can change a little bit. Keep in mind, this is like a first, this is an initial hands-on scenario. 
So maybe we can pick up a bit more detail, maybe some more contrast in the way that the image is processed. But right now, I've seen selfies I like better. I just noticed a cool animation. Watch the, the top camera unit when I click back. Did you see that? There's like a little light effect around the hole punch. Boom. Fancy. I do have to say, the the feel, I mean, I hate it when people say that it, it feels good in hand. It does though. This one actually, it doesn't feel like a huge phone. It's rather narrow. It's obviously slim. And I kind of like holding it, to be quite honest. I should take you around a device real quick because I just noticed we still have a headphone jack. That's going to be a bonus for a lot of people. I'm glad they did that. I mean, you have a big device. You have the room for it. Now you got some extra versatility. You need to plug a standard set of headphones in. The jack is there. I really don't need to tell you. Of course, type C connector as well. Quick charge capable. On the rear, it's looking like we have the three lens, three zoom situation. So the default in the center shows two trees. That's representative of the focal range. Of course, we can zoom in further. That's a nice looking image. And then wider, this is a 0.5 zoom, so that's pretty wide. I'm into that, okay? So that's the wide lens, standard one times focal range, and then the zoom. So as you can see there, the AI picked up that it's a face, that it's a portrait, and it made various automatic adjustments. Okay, cool. So now we'll just show you all three. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Okay, so that's the zoomed in mode. That kind of turned out well. That's the medium or standard focal range. And then that's the wide. The wide is quite wide. I'm a fan of that actually. And it barely even juts out in this case. Like that thing, look at that. That lays pretty flat. I mean, completely flat, really. That's impressive for a camera module housing a three camera setup, including something that wide. I'm kind of happy about that. All right, staying in the camera modes, you can see there's also a pro mode, which gives you all kinds of access, ISO, f-stop. Uh, you can control autofocus, white balance. I mean, everything you would expect in a pro camera is in there. That's nice to have. I also notice there is a super slow-mo. It captures 0.4 seconds. Okay, let's give this a shot. Super slow-mo is always fun. Oh man, is it going right now? Yeah. Holy. That's 0.8 seconds of actual video. Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's super slow-mo. Now, I do wanna take a picture of something colorful. I just wanna see the way this thing deals with colors. Knows that it's a plant. We'll try the close up. You know what, man? Again, this is initial interpretation, but this rear camera is looking real nice right now. Look at the detail over here. Wow. That's looking like that's gonna be a real performer on the rear camera. Another thing I was curious about specifically with this cutout design when compared to the notch is like, what's it gonna do in video mode? Obviously people watch a lot of YouTube, a lot of video on their smartphone. So here you can see in the YouTube app what happens during navigation. Fits into the notification bar, but it also looks like the notification bar itself is fatter than it would normally be to accommodate the hole punch setup. So you lose a little bit of screen real estate there now. So that's zoomed in on the YouTube video player. And this should give you an idea of how that hole punch is gonna look when you have a full screen video playing. Yeah, it can interfere a little bit. And, and then you're like, that little area around the outside of it, <laughs> is that really useful to have that, is that even, that's not even a millimeter of extra re screen real estate like that you're barely using? Of course it looks cool, it seems futuristic, but strictly from a utilitarian standpoint, is that really that useful? I, I don't know if this is the future of designs. It really feels to me like this is a, a stopgap to the eventual no cutout, no notch situation. I mean, we've of course seen slider 
situations, motorized camera pop-ups for front-facing cameras. This just happens to be the latest incarnation, but I think a lot of it is kind of just a novelty factor in general. One thing I will say is that this is gonna make people feel like they really have a new device. Like that's what that ends up feeling like, is that this is a new thing. This is, this is not something that has existed before. You pull this out of your pocket, you're like, that's not my last phone. It doesn't look anything like it. But as far as the practicality of this particular implementation versus others, I honestly don't think it's a big difference. But then again, I'm a guy who on notch phones, I turn it off. I just black it out. So I kind of find them all a bit offensive. At least here, they are giving you two front camera options. So you're getting two lenses. So there's a bit of a payoff, a bit of a trade-off. You get one wide angle, one standard. So you get some extra equipment in exchange for that cutout. Oh. Most of the sound is still traveling out the bottom. It's a good sounding smartphone. I'm into it. It's a good sounding smartphone. They thought about it. Just so we have a comparison. And let's try that Dolby thing again, see if it did any enhancing for us. Oh yeah, this track you can hear it a little bit. It's in the mid to high range. A little more, a little more detail, a little more crispness, a little more crispness. Crispy crunch, rice crispy. Crispy cream, honey crisp, cocoa crisp. You know what, uh, this is a nice little package. Okay, this is not gonna be cheap though. Holy smokes, this is not gonna be a cheap device. Be prepared to get up to that thousand dollar range if you think you're an S10 plus kind of person. Battery information. Oh, there we go. Breaking news. 4,100 milliamp hour battery, at least on the plus version. That's a big battery. So I think people are gonna be happy with that. You got some quick charge. You got the latest Snapdragon. It sounds good, it looks good. It's got a lot more in the camera department than the previous version. It's got a bigger battery, and there's a lot going for it. I'm gonna play with this device. Of course I'm gonna use this device. Of course the SIM card is going to enter this phone, and I'm gonna let you know how it compares to some other stuff that's out there. And I'm also gonna let you know if there's enough value here to justify the cost, because that's the conversation in 2019, and you already know it, but there it is. It's the S10 Plus, and of course you can tell it's wrapped in a beautiful D brand. If you wanna know more about that look, look for the link in the description. There it is, Unbox Therapy, stay tuned for the next one.